Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. I don't know if you can see it or hear it in my voice. You can see it a little bit of the dishevelment of my hair because I haven't taken a ton of time to do any grooming today. I don't feel so good. I'm kind of under the weather, got a little cold or something equivalent to that. So I thought today Psalm 21 would be very appropriate. Let's read that. To the chief musician, a Psalm of David. The king shall have joy in your strength, O Lord. And in your salvation, how greatly shall he rejoice. You have given him his heart's desire, that have not withheld the request of his lips. Selah. For you meet him with the blessings of goodness. You set a crown of pure gold upon his head. He asked life from you, and you gave it to him. Length of days forever and ever. His glory is great in your salvation. Honor and majesty you have placed upon him. For you have made him most blessed forever. You have made him exceedingly glad with your presence. For the king trusts in the Lord. And through the mercy of the Most High, he shall not be moved. Your hand will find all your enemies. Your right hand will find those who hate you. You shall make them as a fiery oven in the time of your anger. The Lord shall swallow them up in his wrath, and the fire shall devour them. Their offspring you shall destroy from the earth, and their descendants from among the sons of men. For they intended evil against you. They devised a plot which they are not able to perform. Therefore you will make them turn their back. You will make ready your arrows on your string toward their faces. Be exalted, O Lord, in your own strength. We will sing and praise your power. Appropriate. One, that's a shorter psalm, so there's another entire chapter of the Bible read. Some of them aren't as long as the, um, Psalm 18, which I published a few days ago. Some of them are around those lines. They take, like, this was less than two minutes. And it's appropriate today because in the middle of my not feeling good, and didn't really do much of anything today just because, bleh, don't feel good. The Lord reigns. His blessings are good. His promises to me are genuine and true. Any enemies that oppose him or even oppose me, they will be taken out of the way. Even if some harm comes to me, I won't come, come into utter destruction because the Lord is on my side. And nothing's going to happen to me until the Lord is good and ready to take me home. So, despite how things look in the physical, despite how I may feel, I know my God's good, I know my God's king, I know my God's sovereign, I know I can trust him with my body, I know I can trust him with my health, and I look forward to the blessings and the long life and the conquering of enemies that come in Jesus' name. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I love you, and God bless.